Welcome to this short video tutorial on understanding and using chart fields. In this tutorial, we'll describe what is a chart field and why it is needed, as well as demonstrate how to select and enter chart field codes in PeopleSoft. Pepperdine captures and reports its financial transactions based on chart fields. Employees who have access to the Finance Center in WaveNet will encounter chart fields within PeopleSoft applications such as requisition, travel and expense, credit card, as well as budget reporting. These fields and values provide a means for classifying Pepperdine's business transactions, emphasizing accountability rather than profitability. Nonprofit organizations such as Pepperdine have special requirements to show in financial statements and reports as to where the money is coming from and how the money is being spent. Subsequently, a chart field is used in combination with other chart fields to identify things like what the expense is, where the money is coming from, who is incurring the expense, and the reason for the expense along with other values used to separate and categorize transactional and budget data. Consequently, each field represents a portion of the accounting structure and the chart fields combined, also known as the chart string, together they represent the proper categorization of a financial transaction. The chart field values that are used by Pepperdine are business unit, fund, department ID, account, class, program, product, project, and operating unit. Let's break each of these down. The business unit is used to distinguish the university's legal business entities, such as Pepperdine University, Wave Enterprises, Wave Properties, and Wave Services. In most cases, the business unit used is Pepperdine University and is identified as P-U-N-I-V. The fund provides information about the type of funding including restrictions, designation, or purpose. Funds are categorized into unrestricted, temporarily restricted, or permanently restricted, and agency. Some example fund codes are UONDA, UO. DNS, UPPRJ, UGFED, and PETEN. The department is an organizational identification number for which a transaction is taking place. It is a five digit number that is required in a chart string. For example, 11190 is the Enterprise Information Systems Department number within information technology. The account defines what is being recorded on a financial transaction. This chart field is a six-digit number used to track assets, liabilities, fund balance or equity, revenues and expenses. Account codes that begin with a four are revenue and those that begin with five are expenses. For example, the account code 511025 is used to identify air travel expenses. The class field indicates the purpose of the transaction and is required if the account code entry is either a revenue or expense. This field is a five letter code such as ISGEN, Institutional Support General. The program defines a specific academic program within the various schools. Each of the five schools has its own set of five-digit codes. For example, 50010 is the code description for Seaver Economics. And note, this is a required entry if your department is academic related. The project ID is used to identify and accumulate financial transactions associated with a capital project such as construction of a new building or a sponsored program also known as a grant. For example, the project code 
C-A-M-P-U-S hyphen C-T-R is a campus center capital project. Note this field is required for grants or capital projects. The operating unit is an alphanumeric code that specifically identifies the funding source for some designated activities and is required for certain funds. For example, if the fund code used begins with UOD, then an, as an example, the operating unit may be something like OED 05028, which represents the code for Bible lectures. And there is a product code field that is user defined. This field is not managed by the General Accounting Office and is an optional four digit code where each department can assign a value to track certain expense types. For example, the women's soccer department could use the product code 1234 for air travel, and the men's basketball department could use 5678 to track their air travel expenses. Now that you have a basic understanding of the Pepperdine chart field structure, let's see how these fields are used in combination with one another and validated. And we'll also demonstrate how the chart fields get entered into PeopleSoft. We'll access the requisition module in the Finance Center and navigate to the chart fields to help illustrate this. In this distribution, we see those chart fields we discussed as well as other fields that are not used by Pepperdine. We'll start on the left of this chart string and we'll see a field identified as GL unit. This is our business unit and notice it is filled in by default simply because of the requisition type being entered. PU and IV represents the general ledger business unit, Pepperdine University. Notice for each chart field that PeopleSoft provides a lookup for valid entries into that field. Let's click on the icon and view all of the valid business units available. Notice there are other business units to choose but since this transaction is associated to the university, the PU NIV default value is appropriate here. The next chart field is the account code. We now know this field records the financial transaction, and since this is a procurement, we know that this field will be an expense entry. All expense account codes begin with a 5. As a side note, if the code used starts with either a 4 for revenue or starts with a 5 for expenses, then a class code is required. So let's use the lookup and see what our choices are. We can see the lookup offers many account codes, more than 300, and it all starts with one something. We need to locate and view account codes that begin with 5. Since the expense code begins with 5, we can enter 5 in the account field to search and view just those expense codes. Still, there are more than 300 expense codes. PeopleSoft allows us to view a maximum of 300 results at a time. We can narrow the search results by using the description and entering a string of characters that describes our expense. So let's say we are looking to purchase computer accessories. In the description field, we'll enter computer. Notice the lookup search criteria defines the account code description must begin with a string of characters. Here, we'll input C-O-M-P-U-T-E-R. When we select the lookup button, our search results in no matching values were found. However, if we change the search criteria to contains so that the string computer is contained in the description, we see one of two results, supplies computer accessories, with an account code of 515060. 
We'll select that hyperlink and PeopleSoft fills in that six digit chart field value for computer accessories. The next required chart field entry is the fund. Using the fund lookup, we can select one of the 100 plus fund codes that is appropriate for this expense. This field defines where the money is coming from. That is the type of funding, including restriction, designation, or purpose. So in this field, we have to know that information in order to choose the appropriate fund. And it is in this selection that determines other chart field values as shown here. Using the lookup, we can identify and select the appropriate fund code. So in this example, we'll use the fund code of UONDA, an unrestricted operating non-designated activity. And note with this fund, no optional chart fields are required. The department field is another required entry that specifies who within the university is incurring the expense. The department's five-digit code determines if a program code is necessary or no optional chart field is required. In this example, we will use Department 11190, which does not require a program code. Since the account code used is an expense, then the class code is required, as this field identifies the purpose for which the money is being spent. Note that there are a few class code entry requirements related to the type of fund used, which then specifies the class code entry. In our example, the expense is designated for institutional support. Here, we'll use ISGEN, Institutional Support General. Again, the lookup will give us a list of all available class codes. So these required entries, business unit, account, fund, department, and class, may be the only entries needed for some transactions. However, depending on the fund or department entries, these two chart fields could require optional chart fields such as project or operating unit or program. Some fund codes designated for projects or grants will require a project code. By using the lookup, we can see the many project codes. Consequently, this is one of those fields we have to know what the organization's related project is in order to choose the appropriate project code. Additionally, fund codes like UODNS or UODSC, as well as several other fund codes, identifies the funding source which require an operating unit field. Using the lookup, we can see the many operating units and is another one of those entries that we must know the appropriate code. As mentioned, the department you are in dictates whether or not a program code is needed. Various departments are associated with academic programs, and if that's the case, use the lookup to choose the appropriate program code. In this example, our department is not associated to an academic program. Finally, there's a product code field that is completely optional, and each organization may choose to use the four-digit code from 1000 to 9999 as they see fit. And take note that there are other chart fields that are not used by Pepperdine and should be disregarded. That's it. Thank you for watching.